Are you one of the type of people that just eats the baby bell with its wax uh, covering as well? You eat the McDonald's with the peel on. Time for another good idea, bad idea. <laughs> yes. Corrupt the jaw soup out. That works. <laughs> well, we're Italian now? Alright, technically that's what I asked. <laughs> Whoa. Oh no. Superbo oh, spaghetti. Superbo. <laughs> uh, it's the classic Italian name. Pizza, pizza. Marinara. The only thing you can say is pizza, pizza, and that's like a mental manner. <laughs> to my dear friend, Superbo. One day in the village became a secret we would have to keep from everyone for the rest of our lives. We yes, killed a man. Was. You see? Yeah. You are not a million miles off what happens. Well, I, I said if things climb, let's pull bugs out. I said we killed him, man. Huh? Hayao Miyazaki's directing has fallen off. Hmm. I don't understand, Professor. Why are we going to help solve an inheritance dispute? Why does your car look like a wedge of cheese? Really think I would take on such a <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh God! Cheese, Gromit. Cheese, Wesley Dale. <laughs> oh, oh God. No. Wallace is just this stalking them off camera. And exciting situation, and it has piqued my intellectual curiosity. But I suppose it would be best to explain the case before we arrive at our destination. That would be a good idea, otherwise you're like, alright, why the fuck are you here? Augustus Reinhold passed away. He was so fast we couldn't afford a lid for the coffin. Didn't we just kill this dude with a sewing machine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he's a lot younger. Oh, and yeah. shortly <laughs> after his death, his will was disclosed. The contents of it were fascinating, to say the least. I mean, who knew he had that much to say about the Oh, oh God. No. Wait, why do you say that in his will? Because then, now I'm dead, I don't have to suffer any consequences. Which means, I can say the following words. And the person who really well is like, no, 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 not reading that. Not that reading no, no, that, that'd be fucking great, though, like, because there's no consequences, you just put the fucking word in your will. No! Oh, yes. <laughs> no, you can't say <laughs> this! We from Twitch. We're not streaming! <laughs> yeah, I will still get banned from Twitch. There's also his <laughs> eyes everywhere. Oh it's god, a... it's cool, we'll let it out and post. <laughs> just, we're talking about and stuff and suddenly you just, like, uh, you just blank out of something and argue it. Wow, what did he say where they had to blank it out? Oh no. That's only for true top tier patrons. Naturally, those who attended the reading of the will immediately... Only the top tier patrons to get to hear the gamer out. word. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But in the end... Everybody came back empty-handed. Was this an it Assassin's Creed crossing? No one had even heard of such a treasure existing until yeah. it's mentioned in the will. Ezio dive into this child? Oh no! Wow, How would that work? So like a reverse animal? What? Yeah, something like that. Just fucking imprint his will on the small child. Yeah. Is he controlling the child? How the animal works? What a perplexing individual. I wish I could have met him while he was not still alive. I just watch him. Oh. Ah. So you're not, like, changing history, you're just watching it? Yeah. Yeah, which is a shame. Well, from my understanding, uh, they're building a simulation based on the memory. And things. And so that's why he's doing stuff which the ancestor didn't do. It disaligns, it desynchronized. Yeah, no, the Assassin's Creed stuff's not time travel, so if that's what you're asking. Is yep. linked to some um, larger mystery. Okay. Something Interesting. Huge. It's literally just like the government invented uh -huh. a really expensive flashback machine. Again, <laughs> uh, hmm. Using well, it to try to find out what the fuck Joe Biden's saying. This is 
all so exciting. I hope Sam Mister is ready for the. You know that in the historian made one of the games like sales go off by complete accident. Really. Yeah, because um, Black Flag has Steve Bonnet in it. Oh, Luke, you know as well as I do that I am no detective. I played the game, I have no idea who he is. Augustus Reinhold's He's the gentleman guy Reinhold. who became a player because he was bored. Investigate the situation. It seems he searched for the One Piece. When reading an yeah. Article, <laughs> in the papers. Well, what is the weirdest crossover? Professor Layton, Assassin's Creed, and now One Piece. And actual history. Oh, oh. Well, look, a true gentleman never refuses the request of a beautiful lady. If you say so, Professor. We should be nearing the town by now. Look at the map in the envelope and help me with directions. Right you are, Professor. What in the... what's this? Lady it's Dunn called a map, stupid. <laughs> We'll need to decipher this map in order to find the village. She wants to see if we're capable uh, of cracking the mystery surrounding the Decipher the, the map, it's fortune. 2 p.m. under a harvest moon if he wants the Burger King, to fucker. Go, Luke? No. I'll do my best. A puzzle well, like this is no problem for the apprentice of the great... Very well then, Luke. Fucking in I'll leave this one to you. Think of it as a warm-up for things to come. Does that mean this is the hidden village of the Burger Kings? Oh god, it is now. Right, good. Time to, time to engage brain, people. Pick a rat. Brain. And unless you does the grass. They're much smaller. <laughs> They're like <laughs> tiny cigarettes. Uh, Road that but... leads to no other <laughs> village. Oh, uh, so the top left? If you say right so. One. Yeah. Well, here's my guess. Go, Bob's doing all the puzzles for the rush to this playthrough. Oh. I don't like the path if you go down there. If we had gotten it wrong, would he have just shoved the kid out of the car? <laughs> yes. Think, Series like, over. But my dialysis, sir. <laughs> what? In the, oh, this wheel had, like, of cheese is the only dialysis shock I've seen, boy. What? Once they roll into the village, just everyone's so poor and hungry, they just start eating the car because it looks like cheese. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they peel the paint off and it comes off like a baby ball wrapper, and it turns out actually it's just cheese underneath. Mm, lead based like, paint. Like the fucking <laughs> wheeze truck from Cheech and Chung. Are you I'm one of the type of people that just eats the baby ball with its wax uh, covering as well? Like that is Anyhow, no. <laughs> your things, then why would you eat the paint? You'd just tear off the paint to get the cheese. Do you eat the baby bill peel and all? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bor Borb does. Borb does. He's a he's a strange man. You eat the McDonald's with the peel on. <laughs> What the Happy Meal box? Yeah. <laughs> what the box as well with the newer ones with the face on it? Oh yeah. My oh my God, the terrifying face. Bore beats the Happy Meal box to gain its strength. What? Just you put everything in the carry bag and you just eat everything, including the bag in one go, and the uh, yeah. Happy Meal face that flees out of a family. This is how a real American eats his McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> You worried about microplastics? I'm talking about macroplastics. <laughs> <Let's> fucking go. <laughs> Lots of fiber there. That will come back to bite me later. Oh, you God. won't be loving it. Trust me, Bor fiber's the least of Borb's problems here. <laughs> Haven't pooped in a fortnight, sir. Don't <laughs> <laughs> imagine Borb Avatar just casually eating whole Happy Meal, including all the packaging and the bag. Long, like, food curb style, just like inhaling it. Please, please, please draw the fucking birds, like, just with a McDonald's Happy Meal box in his beak. One of those adults that goes to McDonald's and asks what toy they have and then just eats it in front of the people working there. <laughs> what McDonald's have you been to? You've oh, got to remember, he lives in America. There are different breeds of us with McDonald's, Sam. 
Do. Oh god. Also, I'd just like to point out that, like, this game's most famous line of dialogue is a line of dialogue that's not even in the fucking game. What? Really? Yeah, no, because, um, Penny Arcade did a parody comic of this where, like, they're, they're like, what are the chances you can open the fucking drawbridge without giving me another puzzle? And the guy just goes, I have 12 matchstick. <laughs> and, like, for some reason, everyone thinks that's a line from the game, though. I have 12 matchstick. Yeah. Excellent. Shot the bridge. Oh my god, is that Bob's burger? <laughs> no, I fucking love these characters who signs them. Trying to figure out where his neck ends and his chin begins. I don't think I can do it. This thing isn't human. <laughs> oh We're in Italy, aren't we? We're Italian. Oh. Is this any <laughs> relation to a certain man in a jail cell? Fucking Paul fucking in the, in the business we call this foreshadowing. Oh. oh, wait, do we have to fight his, like, shadow thing to get across? No, no, nothing that bad. What? Why do you have multiple slots for one bridge? Wouldn't it just be one slot for the hand crank? No, this village loves puzzles some. Do we just write, you're an idiot, on a piece of paper and throw it over to him? <laughs> yeah. It's gotta be one. I wonder if he has some other aspects of like I'm saying. Oh, there's several slots. Which one does it go on? Shove it up your one. ass. <laughs> oh, do you think he's actually done that? Wait, there's a fourth slot. Let me try that one. No. <laughs> bridge is going down. Luke, here's my oh. answer. Amazingly, the bridge is still going down. <laughs> Every Ow. has an answer. Oh. Man's like, I like that. <laughs> After trying that lot of the crank, uh, does he shut like a one match? Just a cube snap? Because the damage he does? Only until he pulls the crank back out. <laughs> bridge goes back up. <laughs> Oh god, we have to hook him up to the bridge system forever. <laughs> Fucking creepy ass Walden village. I can't let you into this town unless you solve this riddle. Why is this hell? <laughs> it might be if you flung to high school. <laughs> Did I die and go to hell? When you meet a lady die, I say, ah. Now, a final interview to make sure I've hired someone right for the job. An ultimate test. Okay, let's hear it. Alright. I warn you, this may be the most difficult puzzle of your career. So Jane's leaving in a train from Bristol, and John's leaving in a train coming from Birmingham, and they're both going to London, but she's going at 40 miles an hour, and he's going at 9 miles an hour. So given the distance, at what point will the two trains collide? Are they um, still both going to be in it's Europe It's a trick somewhere? question, Lady Dahlia. The train's never run on time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're perfect. Perfect. Oh god. Wait, we want to move just tap the shoe. Are you sure, Professor? So uh Luke's just standing there just constantly tapping his shoes when he wants to move. That lady's up to something. Throw a shoe at her. What is turkey? Or the Malise or something? Just <laughs> load of villagers throwing the shoes at Layton. Yeah. We've got two. I swear there was a fucking hint. Hint coins over the screen. I tried to throw a shoe at the lazy and it gave us another puzzle. Fuck you, boy. <laughs> no, this is hell. I just made for the episode. I tried to throw a shoe at this old lady, but we got puzzled instead. That's the episode <laughs> title. The fuck is a pick a rat? We discussed this already. Oh, uh -huh. here you go. They're explaining it to you. Oh. Imagine them as a lovely reward for solving puzzles. Oh, that's great. Why do you don't like Dr. Eggman's grandmother? Uh, mostly because I'm still coughing up tonsils, so I can't do the Queen voice properly. I'm going to piss on the moon! <laughs> that's, that's why they killed the Queen, she was getting too powerful.
One of these four has a broom and height that are the same length. What the fuck? Wide bit is as wide as the tall bit is tall. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. So it's either C or D, right? I'm yeah, that's C. what I would say. Honestly, my money's on C. Great. We're going so. to like Doug Dimmerdone territory. You just have one person in the village wearing like a three-story hat. It's... Remember, well, the latest Soul Calibur came out this a few years ago now. All the different character creations. Um... And people kept making Doug Dimmerdone with increasingly stupid hats. Yeah. Oh, you're not gonna believe this. It's B. What? Did you fucking Google yeah. it? No, I held up a little uh, a little measuring thing I have on the drawing table. And just turned it sideways for each one. Okay. Luke, here's my answer. This is gonna be. What? Fuck you, <laughs> Layton. I suppose I. It's just execute Layton on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> what death by shoe? Oh, a pickerette! Come back. <laughs> death by boots of the heads. Has to be seen then. No, I think my next guess is going to be A. Honestly, no, I me. think A as well. Yeah. Sam, you've been outvoted. There we what go. happens if we get it wrong? Does Sam get the Blah. channel? S Sam gets the electric chair if we get it wrong again. No! Sam! Run! Run. What? We're strapped to the stairs. The only way out is to go by uh, the bridge again, and he's already pulled the crank up. Oh, we don't talk about the sewers. And it's going to take him several minutes to dislodge the crank. What's the world coming to when you can't even trust your own eyes? Oh god, this game was made in like 2006 or something? Oh no. There's an old man cranking it at the edge of town. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he's doing with it. Isn't that a Bruce Willis movie? Maybe. Or Jason Statham. Sam, you know the one I'm on about. Oh, Crank. Sorry, That's... re the recording. What was the question? Crank, who is in that? Jason Statham or Bruce Willis? Jason Statham. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Next puzzle. Out of the way, old lady. We've got puzzles. Is it his hat? Is it a hair? Who knows? <laughs> old cut too, literally. My name's what? Stash and Scarfin. Scarfin. <laughs> ah, and he yet yeah, he has a mustache and is wearing a scarf. Bravo game. Oh very, no! Very, very Stash and scarf. <laughs> that was the puzzle. Sam figured it out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I'm Stash and Scarfin. This is my brother, Die Hardman. Via this conversation is coming with Leighton. Like they say, I've deduced your name. It's because you're wearing a scarf and you have a mustache. Wow. It's half the barrel. You're going to take or something? I fucking knew there was a hint. Hold <laughs> Is your like tapping my barrel? Would you like to do it again? Uh, taps this barrel and then eats the bugs on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I think there's like a side game as well where we have to make tea recipes. I can't what? remember. If that's, I can't remember if that's this game or the second game. Also, I love the fact that the top screen is like artwork of the top of the houses. Top screen's just like I was happy to be included. <laughs> yeah. No, that's most DS games. 